It's Tuesday, October 9th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. On most episodes of Law & Order, you don't see Fred Thompson in the first few scenes, but it's a safe bet he'll make an appearance eventually. So far, life has imitated art, and Fred Thompson hasn't participated in any of the Republican debates yet. But today, at 4 p.m. on MSNBC, that comes to an end. The debate, which includes Money Honey, Maria Bartiromo as a moderator, is all about the economy. Politico's own Roger Simon points out that the bar for Thompson's success is set lower than the limbo bar at a gymnastics birthday party for little girls. Or, as Winston Churchill might say, never has so little been expected by so many from Fred Thompson. Thompson's communications director Todd Harris says that his candidate might not be the most slick politician, but he will be the most authentic. He says, with Fred Thompson, what you see is what you get. Many of his critics have pointed out that that's exactly the problem. Hillary Clinton, inter interviewed in USA Today today, is opening up some distance between her and her husband on the issue of trade. She says that NAFTA, which lifted tariffs between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada, has mainly benefited the wealthy, not the working class. She would also postpone any new free trade agreements as president. This despite the fact that Bill Clinton signed NAFTA in 1993. Hillary is also different with her husband on questions of torture and gays in the military. Apparently, if she were in the Oval Office, she would not be afraid to make different decisions than her husband made there. Finally, Mike Allen included a juicy morsel in his column just so I would talk about it on the show. A Christian watchdog group called The Resistance is angry at Fox News. The group's leader, Mike Dice, says in an email, I see shorter skirts on the women of Fox News than I do on prostitutes being arrested on cop shows. Now, Mike, I know you're probably thinking there are a lot of ways I can make a joke about this. The resistance is futile, no dice, maybe some kind of lowbrow innuendo, but come on, Mike. This is a serious news show. If Fox News wants to show a little leg to boost ratings, I don't think we need to lower ourselves to talking about this non-issue. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more news stories, real news stories. And don't worry, we will never lower our standards right here on Playbook TV.